Hi, I'm Kim Beekman, and I'm excited to be here with you today to give you a sense of what is possible for you in life with respect to law of attraction. So if you're watching this video, you've probably had an experience of law of attraction or you've watched The Secret or you've read Wayne Dyer or Eckhart Tolle or Deepak or Oprah and all those wonderful, extraordinary teachers that we have right now. But the issue often for people is how do you implement what we're talking about? How do you implement law of attraction? How do you change your life? How do you actually find happiness, right? Often when people approach law of attraction, they are looking for their happiness and they believe that if I finally attract that husband or get that dream job, then I'll be happy, right? And often what they find is they hit a big blockage on their law of attraction journey and they get stuck. And then they make stuff up like the universe doesn't support me or I can't get what I want or I'm not worthy. And all of those subconscious patterns that have been programmed in from a young age resurface. I'm not worthy. I'm not lovable. I'm not it's not possible for me to have the life that I want. And so what I find is that's where I come in. It's usually when people have had their play with law of attraction and now they're ready to kind of get through those blockages. So I've been a law of attraction mentor for many years and I also pair that with the fact that I'm, I'm an Ayurvedic wellness counselor. And so I look with people at how their energy works so that they can set intentions that really align with who they are so they can find their truth so they can align with their purpose really the purpose is within it's kind of an uncovering process I'm just helping un people uncover uncover themselves so they can manifest their partner uncover the fear of I can't get pregnant and the blockages that I've created in my body on unblock the the belief systems that we have around marriage and love and getting love and manifesting that life that life of love or that vision of a marriage healing chronic physical conditions so that they can actually feel better in their body i've helped people shift out of writer's block and move through repetitive negative thoughts that seem to haunt anxiety to help them shift up out of depression deal with the anger issues, low self-esteem, right? So there are many different blockages that we have that come up that really prevent us from truly manifesting the life that we want to have. And <clears throat> what I find often after 20 years of law of attraction, and you'll hear at some point my story around how I discovered law of attraction before the movie The Secret, before it became really cool to be working with law of attraction, <clears throat> what I've found is that just about anything can be moved through and with consistent work over a two to three month period and consistent work of self-understanding, self-compassion, really looking at those repetitive thoughts and that unworthiness, your flavor of unworthiness, shifting into the heart, being able to really enjoy life and find gratitude, releasing the people that drive you nuts and working on forgiveness. So this is a mind, body, spirit approach to law of attraction. It's working at all levels physically working with pranayama through the yogic system breath work moving your body so you can shift out of old body patterns so working to rewire your brain and release those those limiting belief systems the fears and the attachments that keep you exactly where you are so through this program that i'm doing right now i'm taking on 15 clients personal clients for this quarter and throughout the three months basically I am going to be working with 15 individuals to first of all look at what kind of energetics are you coming into this with the first step is looking at your Ayurvedic body type and determining what your energy is for example there's a lot of people who are trying to be the cougar right they want to be the jaguar and they think all my life i've been trying to be a jaguar but they are a fish or a rhinoceros and so if we're a rhinoceros trying to be a jaguar we're always going to ram up against our limitations 
But if we recognize what like the value of a rhinoceros energy is and what gifts the rhinoceros energy gives us, then we can actually work a little bit better with our energy patterns and develop the self-understanding, the self-compassion, and then shifting into the next step, develop realistic, totally um, exciting intentions, intentions that give you kind of that fire to want to move forward. Now, once we've developed the intentions, and it's kind of an iterative process, like not everybody knows exactly what they want, and then sometimes they write the list and write the list, and it's like, oh, right, that's not really what I wanted. So once we work and kind of whittle away at the intentions and get really clear intentions, then we release that and start to look at the impossibility, the fears, the attachments, all of the stuff that has kept you from achieving it. Because quite honestly, you wouldn't be watching through to this video if you've manifested everything, right? So there's somewhere that we get blocked. And so we'll remove, start to remove and work with removing those blockages. So then the next piece is working on our day-to-day -day vibration. So we'll work to get you into your heart and aligning with the truth of your bliss. Okay, so now a little bit more yogic perspective comes in, at least yogic meditation. We all have layers of our bodies. We have the physical, mental, emotional bodies, right? Those are the ones we're most familiar with. But we also have a pranic body, a conscious awareness body, and a bliss body. Like how many of you are connected to your bliss body? Not many, right? And so through this process, we're kind of really connecting you into your bliss. You're going to get videos, um, yoga videos, meditation videos, teaching videos, and we're just working your vibration, raising up your vibration over the course of three months so that at the end of the three months, it will be absolutely impossible to live life the way you lived it before because you will have a different vibration. And when we shift vibrations, we're able to manifest something different. And so this is law of attraction from the inside out. Let me align with myself. Let me find my bliss body. And then once I've got my bliss body, I can attract pretty much anything because this is how law of attraction works. We send thoughts out there, right? So we have to have really clean and pure thoughts. We send thoughts out there and then we attract based on the magnetics of the heart through law of attraction. And so if I am all blocked up at any of the layers of my body or any of the chakras in my body, then pretty much I'm going to have a really hard time manifesting that love of my life or manifesting that dream job or manifesting a happy family or a healed, happy marriage. It will be very difficult. And so as we raise the vibration and work on the, the blocks throughout the body and the mind and the belief systems and all the scarcity and victimhood and all the stuff that you've gotten in your way, then we begin to rewire the brain. And so here's the problem with watching all the videos and reading all the books. It's great for like three days, you're on this high law of attraction high, but then what happens is it wears off and, and the synapses that were built in the brain truncate after three days. And so unless you've had sustained practice of law of attraction, you're not going to be able to manifest very easily because though you go back to those old subconscious thought patterns and you lose all that wiring. So we are going to be working on rewiring up the brain, wiring up the brain toward happiness. And this is a really intense, really specific process to do this. So we have um, understood ourselves a little bit more. We're rhinoceros. We're accepting our rhinoceros self. We're clarifying our attentions aligned with our, the way our energy works. We're removing our fears and our blockages and our attachments. We're aligning with the heart. We're rewiring the brain. We're accessing all of that unworthiness and kind of just pulling it up to conscious thought and calling calling it as crap, like, no, I am not unworthy and working at the conscious level of all that subconscious stuff that just keeps getting regurgitated, releasing the unworthiness, and then finally learning how the universe works, learning how the universe responds to us, learning about how when we ask, we actually receive, learning how to receive, learning how to go into a place of allowing. And so this is a pretty in-depth process. It is a three-month process. We meet one-on-one -on -one via Skype or FaceTime for an hour to an hour and a half each time. That means every other week we're digging in, we're digging in, we're digging further. Now, mind you, I am not a therapist. Don't ditch your therapist. I am a goal setter. I am helping you move through your internal physical 
blockages, your mental blockages. So you'll keep your therapist if you have one, absolutely keep them on tap. And I'm just doing the goal setting with you, helping you work your vibration every other week. And on the weeks that we're not meeting, you're getting videos, law of attraction videos, you're getting guided meditations, and you're checking in with me via text, email, phone, to let me know where you've slumped, where you've lost your vibration. And so at the end of this time period, at the end of these three months, as I said, it is really hard to be thinking the same way and manifesting the same things because we've broken the patterns of the way you do your life. And we've created new patterns and new thought rhythms and new ways of living and new ways of thinking. And the way law of attraction works is it works based on your vibration. And so it will be really impossible to live life the same way after the three months of working one-on-one -on -one and doing all this work. And so that is what inclu is included, plus my book, Awaken Your Potency, will be shipped to your house and we will get started right away. So the next steps are for you to email me a time frame that works for you in the next week. We will have a free 20 minute conversation to see if this is a fit, to see if I can help you. I'm not a match for everybody, I'm a fireball. So you have to be ready for the fire and you have to be ready for transformation. And so we'll work with each other to see if there's resonance in the way we work. And if there is, then you'll move forward and commit to the three months if you're ready, when you're ready and we'll just work toward change. I'm really excited to work with you and I'm thrilled to be able to do this work in the world and I'm looking forward to helping you feel more purposeful in your work in the world too. Thank you.